What's up everybody? My name is Lehua and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today we are reacting to an anime trailer slash announcement. I don't normally do reactions to these. I normally re react to the anime, but this one I'm super excited for. The anime trailer we're reacting to is for The Saints Power is Omnipotent. And that is a long title. Let me just give you a backstory of why I'm excited for this. It's because I read the manga. It's based off of a light novel. It's an isekai, but it's a little different. And what I mean different, what I mean is she's not well taken in by the kingdom that she's summoned to. She actually takes a different route. The story is not cliche. I like it. I'm excited. Excited for it. Let's watch this trailer slash announcement. Tadaima. <gasps> oh, she's being summoned. She's being summoned right now. Totsuzen no Sejo Shokan wa Isekai Slow Life no Hajimari deshita. The sudden summoning of a saint from the beginning of a slow life in another world. Okay, so those two guys are at the research center. ゲームの世界でしか聞いたことないけど。じゃあ早速作ってみようか。ポーション。よろしくお願いします。アルフレッド Hawk! Yes! Yes! Oh. He's the handsome knight. Oh, he's the commander of the Knights of the Third Order. Oh. As you can see, I'm excited for him. So over here, you can tell that there's like some romantic stuff going on. So in the story, so far from what I've seen, that's the only one I've seen. Like it's the most obvious one. And I am rooting for them. I'm excited for them. And you learn about this world's customs and such. Oh, I'm excited. And there was this girl here too. There were two people who were summoned, and they were both treated a little differently. In the, the other scene, we saw that redhead. He's a prince. He decided to take this girl under his wing. So that was like showing, you know, the usual isekai girl gets summoned to another world and meets the prince and becomes part of his party kind of thing. Wow. Our main character, the girl with the glasses, she joins a research center and starts concentrating on making potions and whatnot. And it's going to air in April next month. Oh, it's soon. It's going to come out soon. Super excited. Oh, what else are they going to show? What else? What else? What else? We got some credits. I can't read that. Giving credit to like the music and such. Okay, so this is the light novel and the manga that this anime is based off of. I'm reading the manga. Light novel is way ahead, but we concentrate on the girl with the glasses. So if you're looking at this, it's the two books on the left side. Yeah, these two books over here. And this one over here is the other girl. We don't really get to interact with her as much until later. So over here, I went to livechart.me just to see 
exactly when this is going to be aired and where because I want to know where I can see this anime. Okay, I'm super excited for this. So it says it's going to premiere April 6th. <gasps> April 6th! And Funimation's going to have it. Whoop, whoop! Funimation going to have it. Yes, yes. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Yes! Okay, so let me read the synopsis here. Say, a 20-year-old office worker is whisked away to a whole new world. Unfortunately for Say, the ritual that summoned her meant to reduce a saint who had banished the dark magic, brought two people instead of one. And everyone prefers the second girl over Say. But this is just fine by Say, who leaves the royal palace to set up shop, making potions and cosmetics with her newfound magic. Business is booming, and this might not be such a bad life after all as long as her supposed sainthood doesn't come back to haunt her okay this is a little different so when i'm reading the manga i didn't get to the shops part she's still at the research center so oh, interesting i wonder if they're gonna tweak the story a little bit in the anime to get to the shops part okay now we're at the seven seas entertainment let's see the synopsis for this could workaholic office lady say be a legendary saint? Not according to the crown prince of another world who summoned her and quickly declared a different girl was the real saint. This, that suits say just fine. She would much rather spend her days quietly helping people with her unbelievable powerful magic. But how long can say live her ideal life of leisure before her true nature is revealed? Now we're in the same place, Seven Seas Entertainment, but it's for the manga adaptation. Living the workaholic life in her mid-twenties, Say never expected she'd be summoned to another world, let alone obtain the power of a living saint. And she especially didn't expect to be totally ignored by the locals. While the kingdom desperately needs a hero, it turns out Say was just a backup option. Left alone, she explores her newfound powers at the Royal Research Institute, unraveling the mysteries of magic potions as she helps the sick and the dying. Her talent reveals themselves. Might say be the saint this world needs after all? Ah, so that's, that's what I'm used to. So it seems the manga, the light novel, and the anime have slightly different synopsis. They're just slightly different. The light novel and the manga are very similar in their synopsis, just tweaked a little. The only one that stood out was the anime when it said that Say went to set up shop, entrepreneurship. That's a little interesting. I wonder why they mentioned that. And over here, you know that there's two volumes of the manga, while the light novel, there's three. So I'm a little tempted to read the light novel and just see what happens ahead. But now that there's that anime, ooh, maybe not. I, I don't want to be that far ahead from the anime. And that was my reaction to the announcement slash trailer to The Saint's Power is Omnipotent. What did you guys think about the trailer slash announcement? What did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there is a Discord. Discord link is available in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. People who watch these videos do like to stop by the stream, talk story, have that real-time one-on-one conversation. You're more than welcome. And I also host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, the link is available in the description. We are available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lihua, and this was a Superfina channel reacting to the announcement slash trailer of the anime. The Saint's magic power is omnipotent. Hope you guys like this video, and I will see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there, and I will see you on the next video. This bump.